Hi Booth Builders, this is Richard back with another episode of Build My Booth. Alright, so in this episode I'm going to be getting into the ventilation system. Not literally, but I'm going to be going into the building of it. And I've been racking my brains over this thing for ages. And finally, I've come up with something. Also, I've hidden my little golden hat somewhere in the video. So watch carefully and tell me in the comments below where you find it. Alright, enjoy the video. <laughs> Okay, so I've just arrived to pick up the door. That was quite a journey uh, because there was a bloody road closed um, on the way, which I wasn't expecting, so I had to do a detour. But now I've arrived, so now let's go and see the door. Okay, so this is the place. Hiya. Good morning. Come for the door. Come for the door. We've got the right place, yeah? You have, you have. Awesome. All right, so doors up here. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so this is it. Definitely a door. It's got a plastic on it at the moment. So let's have a look. okay, well, that's I think it's probably unfinished. So it hasn't got any handles or hinges or anything like that on it. So I'll have to do that, but it's, uh, it's a good door, I think. It's quite thick, solid. And it's the best I've come across so far, so I think we go with this one. Now I need to get into the car. Can you believe it started to rain as soon as I got inside the house? You can see the rain on my glasses there, and I've managed to squeeze the the door into the car somehow. This is incredible. Have a, have a look at that. So I have a door passenger and a back seat driver. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the door into the car. Now I've got to drive it home and uh, get it out on my own and then fit it. I mean, it's an unfinished door, right? So it's got no handles, no hinges, no nothing. So that's going to be interesting. But at least it gives me the freedom to do whatever I want with the door when I get it home. Okay, see you on the other side. Hi guys, well today I'm in my lounge. Lounge, lounge, lounge. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm in my garage. What? It's a Saturday and it's a good time to get building. So I'm actually working on building the ventilation system right now. So what I'm doing is, if you have a look down here, I have this box which I've made and it's a very, very easy little uh, chipboard, OSB chipboard kind of box which, um, you know, I think it's just going to be easier to show you rather than explain what I'm doing. So first of all, I just want to show you that I've made a box which is here and I'm just fixing some handles onto the top. So it's going to make it easier to lift if you see these here. Okay, this is the top of the box. This is the box. And then I'm going to lift that off in a minute and show you what's inside and show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so here's the box. And this is the lid. And obviously I can just lift it off like this. And then you can see there's the box there. And inside right now is actually nothing but by the time I finish this there will be something. Drill some holes, cut some holes out in the side now for the extractor fan outlet and also the uh, the ducting inlet pipe. So the, the whole idea of the box is to put the extractor fan in it and I'm soundproofing it so that the sound from the fan doesn't get out. I mean it's a pretty quiet fan anyway but just as a extra measure I don't want the sound to get out. It's going to be separate from the booth. It's not going to be attached to the booth. So the vibrations from the motor are not going to be transferring across through the, the woodwork into the booth. Um, so they're just going to be going into the floor and I've got a floating floor anyway. So it's not really going to be much of a problem. I'm looking for my box of screws. I bought them in with me. No idea where they are. So they've got to be around here somewhere. There they go. Found them. Uh, 
under the ducting bloody pipe thing, of course. So this hole is for my extraction vent. So this should sit in there nicely. Cool. Now all I have to do is attach it with a few screws. The question is, do I have the screws? I do, but they're too long. Cool, I found a couple of screws. I think two screws will do. It's not a heavy thing. So I'm gonna screw it in. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so now I have a hole on the other side, which I need to cut. Now, I should have cut that first before I fixed that because I need to put this on the floor. So that was a good exercise in screwing it in. Now, I have to take it out. And this bloody flap keeps falling down. Okay, good. So now, Have a bigger hole. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a bigger hole because I have <clears throat> I have this ducting to put in for in there. This is soundproof ducting. Two and a half meters costs uh, about twenty three pounds, and as you can see, it's thick. It's 100 mil and it's insulated on the inside. So, can't hear nothing. So I have to make a hole big enough in here for this to go through. So it's gonna to attach to the other end of the extractor fan, which I'll show you shortly. Do the cutting again. Do the cutting again. Do the cutting again. Do the cutting again. I should advise you to wear safety glasses during the cutting of wood like this, so I'm advising you. I don't always have to follow my advice. And another hole, another hole, another hole, another hole. That is quite perfect. Could have done better myself. This back in there. Where's the other screw? I don't know what happened. 
listen to that one. Huh. In the fucking hole, fucking hole, fucking hole, fucking hole. How did that? Well, as soon as I found another screw, might as well put it in. Four in bed. If I find a smaller screw again, I'll put that in too, just to secure the four corners. But otherwise, that's okay. All right. Now we're ready for the fun. Uh, this is the baby. This is a Han and Guan HF. 100 and this is basically if you see here it's got a little cable dangling down well that is for a control box which has a very long lead which is a very nice LCD display which you can put into the booth and it's got a very long lead which enables you to put it a long way away from the actual motor so this motor is going to be outside the booth and my little control panel is going to be inside so I can start this and stop it and change the speed of it inside the booth which I think is a great idea. Now this is uh, the three speeds give different um, different amounts of suction so we've got 165 square meters per hour is the lowest and then the next highest is 198 square me uh, cube meters and then the third setting is 240 cube meters now that's as much air as it can pull per hour and i think that's going to be enough for my booth so i'm going to attach it if you like a look here i'm basically going to attach it to the base of this i wired on an extra lead the the, the lead that comes with the motor is not very long so i put a new lead on there so i'm basically going to get a little, uh, I don't know if you can see that here, but I'm going to get a little uh, piece of tubing ducting that goes from here to here and that will attach that there. Of course I'll have to turn it around because we have an arrow. I don't know if you can see the arrow here which tells you the direction of flow. So that's going to sit in there like this. I'm going to have to drill a hole in the box for the power cables uh, the power cable and the control cable to to go out and I'm thinking I'm thinking about using you know cutting up one of these u-boats and using it as a support under each one of the attachment screws so that uh, if there are, are any vibrations and it's not gonna you know be too much I'm thinking about that anyway um, I also have a carbon filter which I'm going to put on the extraction side of things because I'm going to have a passive inlet. I'm going to see how that goes. So I think there's going to be enough room in here to also fit that. So I'm just going to check that out now. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a live unboxing of a carbon filter now. This is very exciting. See, my tripod is not very stable. Anyway, here we go. This is a carbon filter which will hopefully absorb all the nasty smells that might come from an inside of a booth. Because basically, this extractor fan is going to suck the air out of the booth and it's then going to go into the room that the booth is in. And then that air is probably most likely going to get sucked back in again through the passive inlet. 
I don't think I can have a window open because that's going to let too much noise in. So the air is going to be recycling around in the room. Now, if such things as farting does occur, or whatever body smells, you know what it's like when you're in a closed space for a small amount of time. It can get a little bit smelly. So I've put a carbon filter on the extraction side of things so that that will take that smell away. So when the air comes out, it'll be clean and then it will recycle around into the booth and not smell. Because I don't necessarily want to fart in the booth, gas myself then, and then smell it again a bit later on when it's been recycled through the room. Hopefully my carbon filter will soak it all up. You should also take any dust particles out that are in the air too and any other nasty nips. Now, let's have a look. Okay. So here we go, this is the filter. Now, I don't know, I can't remember what make it is. But it basically cost me about £28 off Amazon. And as you can see, it comes with a filter on the outside. Now, the only reason why I know that that's a filter that you fit on the outside is because I recently watched a video on carbon filters and how to use them. No. Oh dear. This is not what I'm looking for. Basically, it looks like it looks like a filter that sucks through. Yeah. Now I bought this because it said an inline extraction filter, but it's not because it sucks through this filter on the outside. I thought it was going to be sucking through here and out through there. So that's a refund. Can't really think of a way I could use that because this is going to be. It was supposed to be sitting in the box like this with the ducting coming in. And unless I have that in the booth somewhere then I can't use it. What? Basically I have to rethink my design I don't really want this this is quite large, I don't really want this like hanging in my booth you know, it's not a hydroponics booth. I'm not going to be growing any kind of plants in there. So, that sucks. I'm going to have to rethink what I'm going to do now. Okay. All right. I'll have to send that back then. Okay, so here it is. Here's the box with the filter. I've managed to tape it back up again and I've also been on the computer and I've requested a, a return and refund from Amazon. It's easy, job done. I'm now going to pop it down to a Hermes drop-off point and I should get the money put back to my account tomorrow and then later on today I'm going to have a look at what other kind of filter I can get and also have a look at whether I need a filter now or not. So I'll look into that a bit later on. So I'm now going to pop this down the shop I'm also going to pop to home base and get a few extra items that I need, like that little that little piece of uh, ducting that I need to attach the uh, fan to the extractor outlet. And I think that'll do for that. That's that. Fucking horrible.